Heller Myotomy, Wikipedia Audio Heller Myotomy is a surgical procedure in which the muscles of the cardia are cut, allowing food and liquids to pass to the stomach. It is used to treat achalasia, a disorder in which the lower esophageal sphincter fails to relax properly, making it difficult for food and liquids to reach the stomach. It was first performed by Ernst Heller in 1913. Then and until recently, this surgery was performed using an open procedure, either through the chest or through the abdomen. However, open procedures involve greater recovery times. Modern Heller myotomy is normally performed using minimally invasive laparoscopic techniques which minimize risks and speeds recovery significantly. The 100th anniversary of Heller's description of the surgical treatment of patients with achalasia was celebrated in 2014. During the procedure, the patient is put under general anesthesia. Five or six small incisions are made in the abdominal wall and laparoscopic instruments are inserted. The myotomy is a lengthwise cut along the esophagus, starting above the less and extending down onto the stomach a little way. The esophagus is made of several layers, and the myotomy only cuts through the outside muscle layers which are squeezing it shut, leaving the inner mucosal layer intact. This procedure can also be performed robotically. History and Development there is a small risk of perforation during the myotomy. A gastrographin swallow is performed after the surgery to check for leaks. If the surgeon accidentally cuts through the innermost layer of the esophagus, the perforation may need to be closed with a stitch. Food can easily pass downward after the myotomy has cut through the lower esophageal sphincter but stomach acids can also easily reflux upward. Therefore, this surgery is often combined with partial fundiplication to reduce the incidence of postoperative acid reflux. Indoor or anterior fundiplication, which is the most common method, part of the stomach is laid over the front of the esophagus and stitched into place so that whenever the stomach contracts, it also closes off the esophagus instead of squeezing stomach acids into it. In toupee or posterior fundiplication, the fundus is passed around the back of the esophagus instead. Neeson or complete fundiplication is generally not considered advisable because peristalsis is absent in achalasia patients. This is a somewhat challenging operation and surgeons have reported improved outcomes after their first 50 patients. An author search at Google Scholar can be used to find studies on a surgeon's past experience with achalasia patients. After laparoscopic surgery, most patients can take clear liquids later the same day, start a soft diet within 2-3 days, and return to a normal diet after 1 month. The typical hospital stay is 2-3 days, and many patients can return to work after 2 weeks. If the surgery is done open instead of laparoscopic, patients may need to take a month off work. Heavy lifting is typically restricted for 6 weeks or more. The Heller myotomy is a long-term treatment, and many patients do not require any further treatment. However, some will eventually need pneumatic dilation, repeat myotomy, or esophagectomy. It is important to monitor changes in the shape and function of the esophagus with an annual timed barium swallow. Regular endoscopy may also be useful to monitor changes in the tissue of the esophagus, since reflux may damage the esophagus over time, potentially causing the return of dysphagia or a pre-malignant condition known as Barrett's esophagus. Though this surgery does not correct the underlying cause and does not completely eliminate achalasia symptoms, the vast majority of patients find that the surgery greatly improves their ability to eat and drink.
it is considered the definitive treatment for achalasia. Procedure Risks, Complications, and Outlook